Glamping businesses, tiny home businesses, and unique stays are absolutely blowing up all over the country right now, and you're thinking about getting in on the action. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you a couple reasons why you may not be cut out for this stuff. Let's go. Reason number one, you may not be cut out for a tiny home or a glamping business is you're simply not a people person and you know you're not. You might have deep pockets and you might actually really have a lot of fun building and learning about glamping businesses, tiny home businesses, off grid stays, yurts, domes, tents, everything in between. But you're simply not cut out to communicate with others, to elevate their experience and to be that amazing host. Remember people, these types of businesses, you're in the service business, okay? You need to be able to put yourself in other people's shoes and elevate the stay that they are gonna have. And you just might not be cut out for that. Reason number two, You've never spent a night in one of these unique stays. You've watched a ton of YouTube videos, you've sent a bunch of Instagram videos and pictures to other people, and you daydream about it constantly while you're at work. But you never packed your bag, got a friend, hopped in your car, drove out of the city, and stayed in one of these unique destinations. It will open your eyes to what you like and what you don't like, also, what type of business you would want to be running. Are you going to be targeting families? Are you going to be targeting people with dogs? Are you going to be saying only couples are allowed to stay at your space? You need to think about all of that. And the only way you can do it is by actually staying in one of these unique destinations. Think about it. How serious are you really about starting a business like this if you never coughed up the dough and gave a little bit of your time to stay in one of these spaces? Reason three and four that you might not be cut out for this stuff are intertwined, so I'm gonna do them together. You either don't have enough money or you don't have enough creativity, right? Starting a glamping business is not easy. I don't know if I lied to you or someone else on YouTube lied to you, but starting a business like this is not easy and it ain't cheap right? But if you don't have enough coin to cough up and buy a $20,000 piece of land and put down a $21,000 A-frame on it like my dumb butt is doing and figure that out, you're going to need to be very, very creative. I truly believe that creativity will negate the need for a lot of money. Or if you aren't creative, you better have a lot of money. It's one of the two here, people. So figure it out and be honest to yourself, which one is you and what makes the most sense, right? Because maybe you won't build a, a large A-frame on your land, a big old dome, a yurt, something along those lines. Maybe you go and get some of those beautiful Lotus Bell tents that you see online and you make it work. You have such creativity that you can make an amazing stay and really elevate that experience by infusing your creativity into it. You need to be honest with yourself and figure out which one is you. Lastly, if you have money and creativity, honestly, it's like a cheat code. You're gonna be off to the races, so have a great time. Reason number five is that your heart isn't in the right place and you're trying to get rich quick. I promise you, you will not get rich quick with glamping. What you will get is a solid ROI on your investment and a ton of experience that you can continue to roll over into other projects. Starting a glamping business is really the foundation of what you can grow into as you continue to learn, level up, skill up, and get better at what you're doing. Whether that be having amazing build projects, whether that be getting more creative with your interior design, whether that be getting better at your marketing efforts, etc. But starting a glamping business will not make you rich in one week or one year. It's a slow grind, but if you're willing to put in the time and the effort, I really think that you can build something amazing. Reason number six is you don't have the right tools for the job. Let's take me for instance. I drive a Mini Cooper and I love my car. Unfortunately, it is just not the right tool for the job. I need to figure out something that will make this more sustainable long term because I'm hauling lumber on top of my Mini Cooper and it's just not working out. Now, let's take that internally and really be honest with yourself. What tools do you have available around you? How can they help you? And which ones aren't the right tools for the job? Do you have a push mower and you're trying to cut two acres of land? It's just not going to work out. Do you have a small car and you need to upgrade to a bigger one? Well, you might have to think about either upgrading or reaching out to a friend who could help you out. But you need to be honest with yourself and think about these things. And the sooner that you fix those issues, the easier things will be for you as you logistically run your business. Before we jump into reason number seven, if you guys could do me a favor and just hit that like button if you're finding value in this video. If you're not, I apologize and I'll get better for you. Now, reason number seven is you are in love with comfort. You like it when things are easy or you don't like it when things feel a little rough. Now, 
When I'm talking about things are easy, that is you're getting into something new. Now remember, whenever you start something new, that is when that task or that skill you're learning is the hardest it will ever be for you. You only will get better, but you're willing to quit or give up or say this is too tough when you just start. Glamping businesses, tiny home businesses, these types of things are extremely difficult, especially your first one and your first time getting into it. Check out all the videos I have where I talk to business owners about this. They all say how difficult it is at the beginning. Now let's get into it being a little too rough and I'm gonna give you an example. Quick story time. The first night I ever slept in my cabin, and I promise you guys that cabin build video is coming soon. The first night I ever slept in my cabin, it was absolutely freezing. I promise you I put in a ton of insulation and that puppy was airtight, but it was so cold outside that it was still getting really cold inside of the cabin. Now, don't get me wrong, I have heat installed in the cabin now, but at the time I didn't. So I hope you know what I did. I could have either paid $150 to stay at the nearest hotel or rough it out. Come on, fam. You already know I bundled up, got through the night, took that $150 and invested it into the cabin, into the build to get me to the finish line. Now that's exactly what I'm talking about when I say you're in love with comfort. If you would have rather dropped your money and stayed at the Holiday Inn, this business may not be for you, man. Firing off reason number eight, and it is that you don't have good follow-up skills. Now, what do I mean by that? You know what I mean by that. If you get an email on Monday, do you not respond until Thursday? If you're supposed to do something, do you not confirm until the day before? That's what I'm talking about because in this business, you're gonna to need to be following up with vendors who are sending you items that you're gonna be putting into your tiny home, dome, yurt, cabin, etc., and they haven't arrived yet. Do you say to yourself, oh, I hope it arrives soon. I wonder when it's coming. Or do you follow up with those vendors and say, hey, where's my stuff? Give me a date and time. In this business, you need to be the person who is on top of everything, who's following up with people and making sure that they do what they say they're gonna do when they say they're gonna do it. It's imperative. I cannot tell you how many times things have fell through the cracks as I have been leveling up my personal follow-up skills. You really have to be on top of it because I promise you, everybody's going to let you down. Why? They aren't in business. They aren't the person who owns this business. The person who's gonna care the most, the person who's gonna be the most on top of items and on top of things is you. Reason number nine, I could never do that, remember? <laughs> is, that a, is that a nine or is this a nine? I don't know. All right, let's get serious. This is serious business. Reason number nine is you don't respect or understand the gig economy. Now, what is the gig economy? Those are your freelancers or the people on short-term contracts that are helping you build out what you need to do. I just told you, most of the people that are gonna be helping you out, they're not the business owners, that's you. So what that means is you're gonna have a lot of these people helping you out with these one-off tasks. Now. First, now that you understand what the gig economy is, you have to respect the gig economy. Just because these people aren't your full-time employees, because they don't work for you from nine to five, that doesn't mean that you can treat them any type of way, and that also doesn't mean that you don't respect them. Now, how can you show that you respect them? You can be honest with them. If you think a task is gonna take three hours long, don't hire somebody for two hours to do that job. And most importantly, you can pay them. I promise you the best way to have a good worker is pay them well and they will show up for you. Reason number 10 that a business like this may not be for you is you simply aren't resourceful enough. You can't only be thinking about your business when you're on site or when you're cleaning it out or when you're talking to a cleaner via text or whatever the case may be. That is not the only time that you're doing what you're doing. This is an entire complete shift for you. Now, for instance, look at me. I started a YouTube channel a little while ago to educate people on the business side of tiny homes and tiny investments. I don't only think about how I can level up my YouTube channel while the camera's rolling. I think about it all the time. So I was driving through New York City just the other day and I see this beautiful desk out on the street. What do I do? Pull over, pop it in the back of my Mini Cooper. I know I was surprised it fit too and I dragged it back home. 
Why? Because I need a new desk and I need to build out my little setup that I have going on here. Now, that's what I'm talking about with being resourceful. Go on Facebook Marketplace before you buy that new thing that you need for your business off Amazon. Check out Facebook Marketplace. Check out Craigslist. Ask friends and family if they have it as well. Do you really need something brand new or is this item not even going to be seen by your guests? Be honest with yourself, be smart, and be resourceful. That will take you far in this business. Do you want to do? Do you want a bonus? Do you want a bonus reason? Because I want to give you one. Okay, you ready? You're scared to fail. Okay, be honest with yourself and be honest with me. That's one of the biggest reasons that most people don't get into the game. They're worried about what their friends and family and enemies might think about this. Get off the couch. Get off YouTube. Get into it. Get let like be honest with yourself. If that's the thing that's holding you back, just start. That is the best way to go about it. Get yourself a pen and a pad and really think about this and jot down your business ideas and what you want to do. Because to be honest, you already have failed. If you don't own a glamping business, you, you, you failed at having a glamping business. You don't have one. So no matter what, what's the worst case scenario? Boom shakalaka. There you have it. Those are just a couple of reasons that a business like this might not be for you. If you disagree with me and you think it is, I commend you. I agree. It probably is. So you know what? I got four videos on the screen right now that can help you out in your business journey. Thanks for watching. Check out another video. Keep it tiny.